Hello, Somerville. Janet Cormier here again. Again, it is a pleasure to be here. Art at Scat with the talents of Somerville. We have Adam Atkinson, a painter. I saw his work on the SOS website and it totally blew me away. Uh, he's, he does the opposite of me. He's subtle. I'm just like, oh, all over the place. <laughs> and it was a pleasure meeting you on the phone and talking to you. And I was very excited that you agreed to be part of the show. Uh, I'm really happy to be here. So thank you so much. Um, tell us, before we start showing your art, sure. a little bit about yourself, like background for, did you study, did you just suddenly paint? And um, yeah, no, I've been, I've been drawing and painting, you know, all my life, probably, mm -hmm. like, you know, doodling in kindergarten and school and barely made it through high school because it was drawing and, you know, doodling, but, um, I did, I did take a couple classes in college, but mostly, um, through books, I really just devour art books. Oh, okay, yeah. And then, you know, going to museums. Um, yes. Yeah, I see all kinds of, you know, and it's it's going to the museums and seeing, like, you know, Sargent or Rembrandt just, 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 just fills you with, you know, the need to create and to be just as good as that. And joy. So much joy when you go and see other people's oh, artwork. absolutely. Yeah. So, and, and in that tradition, can I say that you're sort of a classical painter or how would you um some of the things like this piece is definitely more of a classical mm -hmm. yeah. is, and um oh before i forget you will be on exhibit in the uh, scat gallery for the month of well part of june and then july the end of july did i just surprise you with that a little bit <laughs> okay well we'll, we'll we'll i think we talked about it yeah we, yeah so anyway he's going to be here he really is he's just not someone i found so, and you're going to love his work, and there'll be a reception, and that will be listed on the website. So, tell us about this yummy thing. Yeah, so this is, um, yeah, I love, uh, I love painting food, because it's just, uh, it, they just have so much rich color. Um, and grapes, especially, because they get, you know, they have sort of translucent, so they get that glow that comes through them, and, you know, they get this nice, warm, orangey light that comes through. Um, but just, um, yeah, and then with like the apple, I put, you see that reflected light. Mm -hmm. probably, I don't know if you can see it in that camera here. But, um, but have, you'll be able to see it up front yeah. in personal. That's right. Yeah, this will be <coughs> one of the pieces. Yes. Um, now, have you ever done watercolors? I have. In fact, a couple of pieces I brought are watercolor. Because for translucency, I've d uh, you've captured it with oil as opposed to, like, usually I see people can do it a lot with watercolor yeah. but it seems like it would be more of a challenge with oil yeah it, it can be a challenge it's um, just in how you how you how you use the paint like actually for this reflection here I what I painted it and I wiped that off with a paper towel see simple just things a, like that yeah yeah but it's it's beautiful and then the way it balances with the bananas yeah I was hoping to capture and I got the reflection actually I got this pot um, do you know there's a thrift store just up the street. Near Market Basket? Um, near Market Basket, yeah. Okay, see like, we also tell you where to shop people. <laughs> and so, the, uh, and you got, the, I can't think yeah, of the names. Yeah, it's right behind the comic store. And Hub so. Comics. It's right up the street and it's, so, so many amazing. Take down those hints, it's like a treasure thing and then you can find yeah, it. Yeah, but that's where I got that and that's where I pick up all my little pieces. Props. Props. Background. Yeah, but I try to get the orange reflected from the, um, what do you call it? And I love the, uh, the stem. The stem of the grape yeah, is you never, very you delicate. Never, you never see, you know, big stems on grapes, and so I was really happy. And then the uh, way the fruit is laid out with the sh the shadowing of the banana is fascinating, because it, it just feels very like you could just go in there and get a banana. Uh, and then is this a copper? No. It's because it reminds me of a copper, um, the way the, yeah. the dense. And I love painting copper. This is I'm not sure what kind of it's tarnished, so it could be some kind of tin or, st I don't think it's silver, mm -hmm. but it's, it's, yeah. And the tablecloth, the way you set it off is beautiful. Oh, thank you. And it's the same color some, somewhat as the grapes, and yet you can still see the mark yeah. because of the, uh, the way the light hits. Yeah, my setup at home, so I have a, I have a bright light that just shines straight down mm -hmm. on the fruit, on everything. 
and so I would get some really great shadows. Do you use a certain wattage of bulb or? I use, uh, so okay, I use a 5500 5, Kelvin light bulb. Okay. And that, um, that simulates daylight. Oh. Um, but I also have a north facing window that I use that really lights to let up, light up everything. And, and that one doesn't, the shadows don't change. You know, you don't get bright sunlight, you don't get, the light stays regular throughout the day. And with me, that's why I draw abstract sometimes or whatever I'm doing, because I, I just, that, that light thing, but it, you yeah. capture it so beautifully. Yeah, when it's done right, it's, it can really, you know, it can turn did, out good. Did you start out as an oil painter in classical? No, no, I started out, I've always loved oil painting, but I started out doing abstract stuff. Oh, okay. But, uh, yeah, I just sort of, for some reason, I just moved towards. That's a surprise. Is it? Yeah, because well, I, I... I mean, abstract is just your composition, you know, without the deep, you know, the, you know what I mean? Yeah, the focus. Yeah. And, but it's yeah. still focused when you're working with abstract. It's not to say it's undisciplined, yeah. but it's just the way you treat the subject matter. Yeah. It's beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Um, choose another piece. Sure. Um, yeah. So you were asking me about watercolors. Mm -hmm. um, I think this will fit in here. Oh, okay. This is a watercolor I did a few months ago. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, yeah, it's just uh, one, or maybe it's two color. I think I mixed it with a blue and a brown to get that. In yeah, the, I see the blue color. here. Yeah. Um, and sh um, I love her hair, the way you, you just did. Yeah. Uh, you let the brush sort of go with the water, y it looked like. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I, uh, um, and this is just, this is a technique I learned recently. Uh, from Wendy Arden. She's a great artist of Newton. Okay, yeah. take note people, Wendy Arden yeah. from Newton. Yes, yes, she's, she's all over the world, but yeah, she's great. Um, but yeah, so I've been going up uh, at the Boston Figurative Arts Center up here in Somerville, mm -hmm. and uh, they have models about four times a week to come wow. in, and every, anybody can go up there and draw or paint. Repeat the name again for our audience for those. Um, Boston Figurative Arts Center. Okay. Yeah, yeah, and it's great. Because as artists, we have to sort of hang together and share the resources. Absolutely, yeah. How long did this piece take? Was this, um, this was 25 minutes. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And it's pen and ink? No, or it's this is watercolor. Watercolor, oh, yeah, I'm sorry, just, watercolor. Just, yeah, just different brushes. Because I don't see the brown so much, but definitely the blue. Yeah. Um, but I love the shadow, and that's the whole thing when you use watercolors that yeah. Yeah, capturing it, negative and positive space. Absolutely, yeah. This could almost be, I mean, you know, if you squint, it's almost an abstract just with the, you know, the shapes of it. And when you see, like, here with the white and the white, yet you know there's a line there. Yeah. You, she's not lost she's in the background, right. which is beautiful. How long does this take to do? Well, um, I have, I don't have any of the other oh, did I ask you that? Or yeah, well, yeah, I mean, I, d I do this sort of style, and it, it goes quick. Um, and most of them don't turn out quite this good, but they take anywhere from like 10, 20 minutes. Okay, Yeah. so it's a quick study. Well, I mean, yeah, I guess you could see it study. If it's, if it's done right, there it's a finished painting. Um, but most of them just turn into studies. And I just love the way her arms, like you know there's something she's leaning back yeah, on, yeah. but it's just hinted at. Yeah. It's so, and her face, the detail in her face. When you come in to see the work, you're going to be blown away. I know I say that a lot, but really you will be, and then you'll meet the artist, and he's wonderful. Thank you. And so we will do another piece? or Sure, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, let's see. This is a different, this is one I so it's just a quick sketch, but I wanted to bring it anyway because it's one of my wife's favorite pieces. Maybe we can put that in the center there. This was... Um, <gasps> he has on sunglasses? Yeah, those are... Those oh, dark. my God. Look at this. <laughs> I love this. A, squir a hipster squirrel. Well, it's for his motorcycle. A hipster squirrel who can afford a motorcycle. Yeah. That They don't even use insurance. No, and it's a vintage. It's a Triumph. So oh. he, he has some taste. I love, so your wife did this or you did this? No, 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 my, I did this. My wife made sure I brought it. Oh, okay. Yeah. His agents. Sometimes we need <laughs> agents to help us out. Yeah. I love this. Oh my, 
people, do you see the sunglasses? I don't know if you do. When you come in for the exhibit, and remember, SCAT's open um, Monday through Saturday, so you can come in and then we'll give you the dates for the reception, but you've got to see this. And what's so sweet about it, it's little. It's just this little piece, yeah. and it makes you laugh. I have never seen a squirrel that I liked as much as this one. And there was one that I called Pearly when I was a kid, but I never knew if it was the same squirrel. Mm. But this one, oh, Alvin and your chimp monks, forget you. <laughs> now you have to do somewhere he's on the bike. Some what? Do someone he's on the bike. Oh, yeah, yeah, when he's riding with his tail flying in the wind. Yeah. Yeah, that would be good. And I, what I love about your work is the way you're boldly using white space. A lot of people feel compelled to use up all the space mm. with color, and it stands alone as its own color. As it's, it's more than a backdrop. Yeah, I, I didn't even intend this. This was, I got an aesthetic gouache, just, um, and so I painted this in gouache, and I messed around with some other stuff in the background, colored pencils. So I didn't even intend this to be anything. So, but it's, Can you explain to the audience? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, go ahead. What gouache is? Gouache. Okay, so gouache is, it's like an opaque uh, watercolor, basically. Okay. Yeah. And it's actually called that, gouache. He didn't make that up. No. It sounds like I did. It did, it because does. he's very poetic, too. So that's good. <laughs> And um, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt, but you were talking about how you apply and you use pencil? No, no. Oh, I thought pencil. you said I thought you said you used some pencil. Nope, it was all it's all just um, just real quick um, gouache. We had a through Somerville Open Studios, we had a group of artists. We would get together and go on the last Wednesday of the month. We would go to different stud uh, different artist studios and talk. Like one of them, we went to um, Eric. I think I'm saying his last name wrong. Born, Bornstein? Oh, yeah. You know what I'm talking Mask about? Mask maker. Oh, yeah. Beautiful stuff. He just got back from Jamaica where he did like six huge effigies of these, you know. His family very... known also for the antiques. I remember you, Eric. I remember you. <laughs> so, yeah. yes. Yeah, just a Good real, eye so for in, detail. So inspiring. You know, he posts so much on Facebook and very, yeah. Wonderful. It's wonderful. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's funny. I didn't even realize he was here. But that's yeah, he's in uh, just outside Davis. Eric, give me a call. We can have you here too with faces. <laughs> um, I'm sure he'd love to come if he has time. He's a busy man. He's um, but so that group of people. We got together and we had dinner one night and we had this idea also for the squirrel from some of our open studios. This flying squirrel. That that whole thing started with that with one evening of us getting together and having a potluck. Oh, um, okay. This is how it starts. This is, it is, yeah. Some people do sort of, there's a story about stone soup or something oh. where in France, or I forgot how it started, but um, some poor artist didn't have much, so he put beans in a pot, and then other people brought stuff, okay. and other people brought stuff, and then they started having dinner and talking and creating. Oh, yeah. I love that story. And I, again, the, the use of white space as it's, um, it's not just a background. Yeah and defined by, and, and you don't use traditional colors, like your grass is a purple, yeah. it's a plum, yeah. which when you will see, and there's also greens in the squirrel. So they tell you in, in painting classes to squint. And Definitely. so really yeah. this is it, except he's so cool he has sunglasses on. What <laughs> made you put the sunglasses on him? Well, I figured if he's on a motorcycle, he's gonna want you know, eye protection. A man who can dress him totally, this is so good. Oh. Yeah, that's a fun one. Um, let me show you, let me see, what is this? Okay, so let me show you this one first. <clears throat> this was, I don't know if this will, if it'll stay on there or not. Okay. Um, oh, this is the one that I saw that just, yeah. I don't know, Brian, uh, can we get that? Or would you rather me hold it in my hand? Is that gonna sit? It might sit actually. We'll make it work. Yeah. Okay. It might sit up there. So, um, yeah, this is um, this is a library. It's a volunteer, completely volunteer-run library, which you know um, they were gonna shut it down. Actually, it's it used to be part of the Belmont Library System, and they were gonna close it down. And everybody in the community stepped up, and they were like, "No, we want to keep it open." So the, the bills get paid from volunteers. Everything happens because of volunteers. It's just a really cool library. 
and I, I, we discussed this because I, I had said this is one of the pieces I saw, yeah. and I didn't realize it was so small. Yeah, it's tiny. Yeah. Uh, but the detail, and I love libraries, and it's, this is like a shrine to books because yeah. it's sacred glass and it's the way you framed it and yeah. the muted tones. And I love the way you used, let's see if I can do this, the curtains by taking away some of the, using water to, to create the line, like yeah. taking yeah, away yeah, color. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Because a lot of times people know to put a lot of color in, but they don't know what, what graceful things you can do when you remove it. Yeah paper towels, anything like that, it becomes beautiful. And here you have like the fabric. And I just love the way you treated the books. Yeah, yeah, I figured with the light coming through, they'd be really well lit and just, you know, that's, that's the most important thing is the books, right? All of us who have books would wish our libraries looked like this instead <laughs> of stacked on a floor. But this is absolutely beautiful. Mm, thank you. Now- I feel pretty fortunate. It's, um, the, the volunteers have actually picked this image and they're licensing it to make book plates oh. to put inside the books and make uh, greeting cards. So. That's fabulous. Congratulations. Thanks, so. yeah. And congratulations to them for having good taste. <laughs> now, yeah. I just want to say something. A lot of us artists use little books yeah. and nice. sketchbooks and for doing... I've never seen anyone do small watercolors in a book because yeah. usually I would think it gets so wet. Well, the, the, this Pentalic book is really great. Um, yeah, it's just good, good quality paper. It is. It's very yeah. stiff. Yeah, yeah, it's good quality. Is there anything else you'd like to show in here? Maybe. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> There's a lot of things I don't want to show. <laughs> but that's what we do with those books. That's yeah. what we have them. I have my friends know I'm the easiest gift to get because yeah. I can just, just give me a little book. So how about this one here? This was this is in Somerville Davis Davis Square, and it's um, I don't know if you know the theater there on. Elm Street. Mm -hmm. So uh, the marquee, there's two lions right above it and have chains coming down holding it up. And, and you captured them. I tried captured to. Captured one. I tried to, yeah. Yeah. Um, Sargent has this great watercolors of these, these same color pots that are orange and purple on the bottom and then real light on top and they just glow. They're just beautiful. Is he one of your inspirations? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. He's great. So that's another one. Put it on your list to go to the museum so you can understand what we're talking about here, people. Yeah. This is an education. Yeah. And this is a special watercolor book, Absolutely. right? Absolutely, yeah. Because they have them for different, and I'll let you Thanks. choose another one. Yeah. I don't know what else I have in here. So these are some, I'll just show this real quick. These are some, like, small sketches. Those are sketches? Those look like full paintings. No, no, no. They're just little sketches, just composition. He's modest. Now that's, but that's, you know, they're just quick so I can, like, get a good, um... Can we get a close-up? Is there any way that I can bring this up sure. to get a... Yeah. They're yeah. bigger than postage stamps, but they're, like, post what people would consider postage stamp type yeah. paintings. I guess so. And did you block it off? First. First? Guess, yeah, yeah. So what he did first yeah. was, like, tape... Did you tape it or just no, no, just, sketch, just sketch the Yeah, just sketch the box. Okay. Yeah, just with paint. And just imagine that he did all this detail in this. It's, it is like a little postage stamp. The oh. post office, if you need new stamps, which you <laughs> could work on a couple of new ones, this is the guy to see. Um, these, I wish I would have thought up the Eclipse stamp. That one's really clever. Oh, okay. But yeah. see, now you got this one. You got the landscape. Yeah, that's true. And these are beautiful. He's done the detail of the shading. And again, maybe you can show these in, in some way during the exhibit. Yeah. Um, yeah just yeah. so you can see the scale that he's working at. These are lovely. Thank you. Thank you very much. They're full. They're, they're a full story. It's not like he just did a thumbprint. Yeah. I don't think there's quite anything else in here that's really... Yeah, most of them are just... He's being modest. No, no. But that's... There's not, there's, I mean, there, there's stuff in here, but it's just real quick sketches mm -hmm. for me. What's that one? Which one? The latter. Um, all right. So that's that was at the YMCA, and where is it? Which one is it? Doesn't matter, I guess. The YMCA, they have a pool. And they were changing the light bulb. And so they had the pool. They had the guys inside the pool. So I real quick tried to capture that. Um, 
I don't know how you do it in watercolor because I it, I know in pencil it's easier to you can just go yeah, at I it. I don't use pencil. This on is any of these. no, but I'm just at sketching. I, that's yeah. another thing. He's using the brush directly. Some yeah. watercolor uh, colorist will sketch first yeah. and fill in, but this is all. It's a little challenging because like in this one here, I did this great thing at Starbucks. This co I have no idea how it works. Some contraption to make coffee. It's at the Harvard Square upstairs. But I didn't use a pencil first, so it's like crooked, right? He's overly critical. Well, we love this. Starbucks, you should be buying this. This is, this is <laughs> a piece of artwork. I'm not his agent, but I'm just saying. Uh, um, but that's, that's a down, is, you know, uh, it's, it's all direct. So if and you make a mistake, it's, it's there. Yeah, and water, you, well, you can do but so much, because then it, you can ruin the paper with overwashing. Yes, absolutely. Can you show us this one? The last one? Sure. Put that up. This was done. I I did two of these. One of them I've sold. This one's still for sale. But this is uh, for Union Square Donuts. And, uh, and it makes me hungry. <laughs> I did this one. Uh, they had a show right before some, right during Open Studios, and uh, so I went down, and bought a donut, and I painted it, and then I I opened it up to eat it, and it was so neat inside. I put it back up and I painted it again with the opened up with all the the custard. And you have discipline, too, because that wouldn't have lasted. <laughs> in my hands, that would not have lasted long. It was so inspiring. But it did. It, that's what made me paint fastest, because I really wanted to eat the donut. And I did. Oh, OK. Yeah. That's good. And it was delicious. Because I think something a lot of people don't realize is art is fun, and yeah. it's also sort of mathematical, in a way. And I, and I don't like math, but in your head, you're calculating shade and intensity sure. and um, creating shadows. Yeah. And I'm not a mathematician. I'm scared to death of numbers. But someone pointed out that a lot of this is math that you're not even thinking about. Yeah. When you squint and you put in c different intensities of light. Yeah. Um, so you've done a wonderful job making everything so lifelike that you feel like you can just touch it. Yeah. And the sugar and the... I like the fact that it has, I know I'm reading into it, this holy like forgiving <laughs> light that says you can eat this and it's fat free. That's what I read into that. I think, I think, I think yeah, I think all donuts are. Fat free? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. And this is, they should just pay you. Duncan never looks so good. Duncan. And Dun oh, wait a minute, where'd you say? Union Square. Oh, Union Square. Yeah, yeah, I'm Union sorry, Square. Union Square, yeah. sorry about that. Union Square, no, Duncan would not, uh, never mind, I'm getting myself in trouble. Yeah. So Union Square donuts. And as for the ones that are this big, <laughs> if I'm going to get myself in trouble, I really am going to get myself in trouble. Yeah, get the ones with the the ones with the bacon on top are really good too. Oh, bruh. okay. Yeah. Go for cholesterol double. Yeah. So, yeah. just in a, a minute or two, can you tell me how long have you been painting, and and how did you find your way here? Oh wow, that's a. Um, Let's see. I started in high school. I had a great teacher. And um, yeah, that's where it started. High school? High school, yeah. One Were you drawing before then? Mm hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I was drawing all the time. Even for like silly role playing games, I'd draw, you know, cars and, you know, monsters and stuff when I was, you know, 10, 12, 15. Um, but yeah, no, in high school, that's when I really learned to paint about, I learned about paint. And it just opened up a whole new world. It does. Like, you see everything so differently. Yeah. The colors, you, you uh, respect nature more and just people around you because yeah. it just isolates and you, you create. Yeah, there's so much, there's so much that is inspiring. You know, so it's, uh, it's it's great you see a sunset out there and it's just you you have you have all of a sudden you're filled with the urge to paint so people today you've learned a lot about painting from a very gifted artist who's a somerville treasure thank you adam and he's given us some inspiration and lessons too about color and sub and um, subject matter and you know you have to come down come down and see his artwork. You will see it for June, part of June, I think, and July. And um, it's you're going to enjoy the exhibit. So you know, 
you got to come. I have a website too. Oh, and he has a website which you can. Well, we'll give it. We'll post that okay. later. Okay. Great. Yeah. And uh, there will be a reception to be arranged, at uh, which will give you information on the website. And uh, as always, uh, I thank the artist so much for coming. Yeah, no, thank you for having me. And a shout out to Brian, who's also behind the camera and doing all this cool stuff and making the show possible. He's also the director, and he's very good. I swear he's Ben Affleck's brother. Yeah, Just that's another thing. So when you see him, okay, go, I want to see Affleck's brother. <laughs> and, um, you know, from me, I want to say paint and, and create, and uh, you can do it. And uh, also looking for artists. Can you be as brave to come up here today as he was? So, you know, I, I thank you very much. And I end a lot of the, I end my shows with this, these words, assalamu alaikum, which means peace be to you. And I feel that they are very important right now with all the craziness that goes on in the world. And art is one of those ways to bridge mm -hmm. those gaps. The other way can be earplugs not to listen to a certain person. But it is really about um, creativity and joining up with other people. You know, that's why we're people. We just join up. That's what's supposed to be. Yeah. So until the next time when we meet, um, take care of yourselves. And give me a call. Tell me you want to be on the show and have lots of fun. And be kind to other people. That's really important. So I thank you. And thank you. again, the cameraman a.k.a. the director, the dude, um, Brian Zip, and moi, Janet Cormier, and uh, loving it. And if you listen, you can hear the rain, but we're ignoring that in the background because we got food and a squirrel with sunglasses, people, a squirrel with sunglasses. <laughs>